Hey there everyone, it's Misty here from the Jolly Fit Elf. Welcome to another Project Use It Up video. So in today's video, I am actually making Rob's birthday card. So I am using the Doodlebug birthday kind of boy pack and the pad of paper that I showed in my original Project Use It Up intro video. And then I picked up these number dies off of Amazon. I think if you just search number dies, they will pop up up and so you could you're supposed to be able to make shakers out of them i could not figure it out so we're going to do something a little different here's a look at the patterns that are in this collection and kind of the color so it's yellow blue orange green you're going to hear a lot of thunder and in fact and later in the video i left in where i almost lost my life <laughs> like i feel like i lost five years out of my life oh my gosh it scared me so badly anyway so I am cutting out kind of the outline of the numbers in this kind of confetti paper. Actually, this isn't confetti. This is more like stars. And then I'm cutting out the kind of solid part of the numbers, um, like the inner part of the numbers with this orange pattern that I've put sticker paper on the back. So if you're unfamiliar, I use sticker paper a lot, especially when I have small, tiny lines. And these have small, tiny lines. So again, you're supposedly be, supposed to be able to make a shaker out of these. I could not figure it out. One thing I do like about these dies is that you can see that kind of thing pointing up. That's your where you put your candle. And I thought that was pretty genius. So it does come with candles, and I'll show you that later. I've decided to use these cover plates, again, just off Amazon. and just search dies. And, you know, you guys know I love Argyle. So I got a couple of them. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to cut down a piece of sticker paper and a piece of cardstock to um, a, a five and a half by eight and a half, um, basically. And then I'm going to trim it down. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on sticker paper. So it is going to cut out kind of the lattice pattern. And again, I don't like to mess with glue when I'm working with a shaker card. And we're going to be using a shaker pouch. So that is why I went with the adhesive sheet. So this is a little bit of um, yellow glitter paper so I can do the flame in yellow. There's actually a large flame and a small flame, so I could have kind of layered them if I wanted to, eh, but I didn't. <laughs> He's not going to care that much. I just wanted to make sure that it had, because you know, this is a milestone birthday, right? And he loves shaker cards. Like he absolutely loves shaker cards. They're his favorite. So he knew that I had to make him a shaker card. So this is just like, I just cut this off. I wasn't concerned about getting it perfect or anything like that. I just wanted it big enough for this die. Now I am going to have to use some washi tape and tape it from the back. And I'll show you that in just a second. But this just makes a sticker. That's really what it does. And it like, I don't have to fuss around with glue, etc. I just... I just really prefer it and you can get those off Amazon. Like listen, most of my supplies minus like my branded ones like MFT, etc. Sometimes I just get off Amazon. So yeah. Now I don't buy counterfeit stamps. That is something that you will not see me do. And if you remember, I'd gotten some dies from a company and then I found that they had copied someone else's design and like completely backed out of that video. Um, just because I just, mm -mm, no, nope, you're not going to see me do that. So I will pick up dies and stuff that I haven't seen before. Um, but I'm not going to, I normally don't buy stamps. So yeah. All right. So I'm using the pockets from Stamp Anything, and I'm cutting down this piece of paper to four, four, four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I probably could have cut it down to four by five and a quarter, um, and I'll probably do that the next time. But yeah, so that was kind of my initial idea for this card. That white paper says happy birthday. I only have that one sheet, like that one little piece of it left, and the numbers hang off of it, and so I just wasn't in love with it. So here, you can see how just how thin that border is. I was like, oh my gosh, I am not trying to use glue with that. That's for dang sure. So I'm just using um, my pick tool and, again, just trying not to um, mess it up because it is teeny tiny. And again, these numbers are from Amazon. Cute, cute, cute. Initially, I was going to put this in the middle, but then it covered all the paper. And I was like, well, that defeats the purpose because I wanted you to be able to see a little bit of the paper from the back. So I go ahead and pull it up and just chunk that one. So, and there's the candle. 
And there we go. So that was our number six candle, which I think is so much fun. I went ahead and did the zero off camera. Um, these have a protective film. So I took the protective film off first. And I'm going to go ahead and get my card centered. Now, since this isn't like a, a, a pattern that like it has to go one direction. It's not that big of a deal, but I'm just making sure that I have it completely flat before um, adhering the sides down. And again, this is just, this makes it just so super easy. Um, and I was like, oh, I didn't take off the whole packer sheet. <laughs> so I can pull around with that. These are just so much fun and they make shaker cards just really simple. If you're someone who's been intimidated by it, these are super simple. And again, I get mine from Stamp Anything. I'm a design team member. So that's one of the perks is I get to try the new stuff. So these are some pumpkin jelly dots from Stamp Anything. I've got some green from my diamond um, painting days. And then I'm going to put in some seed beads. Again, he loves shaker cards. So I'm going to make sure that it was pretty full. So he buys my cards and I make his cards. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and bring in a piece of orange in just a second. And we're, that's going to be my card base. But this is where I'm fiddling around with it. And I'm like, I really don't like the way it looks hanging off. And then I put the six, 60 there. And I'm like, I don't know that I like that either. So I, when I was going through looking for these dies, because I knew exactly which dies I wanted to use for this card, I'd stumbled upon a happy birthday sentiment, which I think is also from MFT. And I was like, oh no, I definitely want to use that. So that's going to be what I do. I'm going to cut it apart with some wire snips. These are just, uh, I just keep them in my um, drawer. So this is actually that other doodle bag, doodle bug, doodle bug paper, the birthday one with the girl, like the girl theme, quote unquote girl theme. Because I wanted an orange to kind of go with like the solid on the sticker, but I didn't have any more of that pattern left. So I pulled in another paper pad. So don't be afraid to mix pattern like paper pads. Um, uh, what am I trying to say? Manufacturers, you know, mix and match. It's okay. Just make sure that your color, your color scheme is somewhat cohesive and you can go from there. And here I'm just showing you how I even use the leftovers um, and again, this is to make a sticker. Now, I didn't do it for the back, kind of like the offset, but these are little tiny baby lines. And I'm just not going to fuss around with glue because I will literally get it everywhere. Okay, thunder. Three, two, one. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It literally scared the crap out of me. Like, I, I was not expecting it. Um, we'd been getting like some light rain here and there, but that was the first time that we had thunder and that had to have been close. That lightning struck had to have been close. Thankfully, knock on wood, we haven't lost power yet. Fingers crossed we don't, but we are close to a hospital. So when we do lose power, we get it back pretty quickly because we're all on the same grid. So yeah, so here I'm trying to fuss around with the happy birthday and you can see just how thin those lines are and how I would never be able to do that with liquid glue. I just picked up these sheets from... Amazon. I don't have any links. I don't do affiliate linking other than Stamp Anything and Creative Fabrica. Um, so I don't have an Amazon storefront or anything like that. So um, I used liquid glue to adhere this to an orange card base and um, it kept wanting to pop up. So I was just holding my hands down to make sure I could get it adhered. Initially, I was going to put these up and then I was like, no, it's covering the birthday. So I ended up putting them further down. And I do wish I'd used a, a different color than green. I feel like the green is very, like, very in your face. But once I do that, I'm done. And not any more shimmer to it because I felt like the glitter paper and the shaker part of it itself was perfect enough. So that's it. Let me know what you think of this card in the comments down below. Say hi. Leave a heart. All of the things. I hope you have a good day, night, week, and wherever you are. I love your faces. I'll see you Saturday for another video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.